This is how you train word embeddings in one minute. First, let's install GenSim and the Natural Language Toolkit. We're going to be using GenSim for the model and Natural Language Toolkit for the dataset. Import the necessary dependencies, and we're going to be using the Reuters dataset for our training data. Let's load the corpus of docs and also pre-process the text to remove unnecessary tokens from the text, such as punctuation. This is important because we want to reduce the noise in our data set. For example, if we didn't do this, then the word dog and the word dog comma would be interpreted as two different words. Let's go ahead and train the model now. All right, the model's done training. Let's check to see what the most similar words are to economy. Sweet, that makes sense. Looks like it worked. To hit the point home, I also plotted our vocabulary here after applying Tisney to reduce our word vectors from 100 dimensions to 3. As you can see, words such as bank and growth are clustered together, while words such as government and tax are clustered together.